Она любит смотреть телевизор. Um, she loves to watch television. Very good. Завтра я буду играть в баскетбол. Uh, yesterday we played basketball. Завтра я буду... Oh, yeah, the, tomorrow we're going to play basketball. That's right. Yeah, буду. I'm considered a military language instructor as part of a teaching team. Yeah, I am. There you go. I am. The mission is to train linguists, not so much only military linguists, but to train linguists to go out and to be peacekeepers, really. This friend of mine, a military linguist, was the only American at one time in Kazakhstan. So he was the diplomat, and he was only a staff sergeant. He was a, a mid-level NCO, and he was the source for all things American within that country. We're there to be the bridge between the two cultures, to be the bridge between the two peoples. We're the ones that settle disputes. We're the ones that go into areas that most people cannot go into because they don't know culture or language. The students we have here are from all four services, as well as Guard and Reserve. We also have career NCOs that come back and learn a second language or learn a new language, learn a new skill. Here in Monterey, we teach 22 basic language programs. They range from Arabic, Chinese, and we'll also teach Spanish and some French and German. The bulk of our students study Arabic, Persian, Farsi, Chinese, and Korean. The teaching team consists of native instructors plus one military language instructor. The Russians will teach him the background, the culture, the, the true, true language that a non-native cannot do. The military language instructor, he comes in and we teach mostly the military topics that they'll need to know. Am I worried about the guy running away from me with a gun or the guy running towards me with a gun? Yes, you know? and uh, just a little prefix can change. Exactly, if they... you don't hear that, you don't know which way yes. this guy's going. When I came in, it was during the Cold War. It was a lot more black and white. We looked over there, we knew who the enemy was all the time. Nowadays, we have a more gray type of world, so we're having to teach our students more of the global aspect of language. The dog has some large fleas on it this afternoon. What does that mean? In a cryptology world, what happens is we become sort of like code breakers. In the past, they've used the word dog to mean a launcher. In the past, they meant fleas to mean rockets. We just add all those up through linguistics and as well as analysis, and we figure out what the bad guys are going to be doing. I consider the most important part of my job is making sure my students are trained the best they can be to take my place, because that's my goal, is always to have a replacement for me. After they graduate, how empowered they are when I see them at the graduation. They feel that they can do anything. We're the eyes and ears of people when they're asleep. 